Seriously, seriously. God, dude. What the fucking crap? Look at the spots on this joker. Look at that. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh, bro. Nuts, nuts. Look at the spots. Ain't that beautiful? Some say they have superpowers. Let's let this one go. Look at the spots, dude. Look at the spots on it. Go on back where you come from. Rock and roll, baby. All right, so look, here's the deal. So come down to the lake. Had to work a little bit today. You know how it goes. So I'm just coming down to the lake for like a couple hours just to get some sun and to, to throw that swim bait around some because I'm kind of getting addicted to this whole swim bait deal. But I'm still throwing a mag draft because I love the mag, mag draft, mag draft, mag draft. That's all I know. My wife is hearing it too. Like if I had a penny for every time you said mag draft, um, last week and this week, I'd be rich. And that's true. But here, like this is what I don't get. Swim baits. Number one rule, got to have wind. Okay. Number two, clear water. Okay, that's kind of clear, but it's not super clear. Now, let me take that back. Okay, so swim baits, right? Um, the number one thing everybody always says, got to have wind. Got to have a little chop on the water. Look behind me. Like it's... No wind at all whatsoever. Uh, that spotted fish, the, the dotted up bass I just caught, came off of that dock. There's only a few docks back here. And there ain't much else around. I mean, this is not like a high traffic area, as you can see. There's no chop on the water. What's like the second rule? Does it have to be like super clear water or... I don't know. Whatever. But I always know, well, you got to have wind, man. You didn't catch them because you didn't have any wind. That may be true, but I've caught them without wind. And, you know, I've caught them when it is windy. I've had, I've had them follow my stuff when it's windy and caught them when it's, it's just, I don't know. You hear all these speculations. Sometimes you just have to throw the book out, put your trolling motor down, and just go fishing. Go down to bank. Use your gut. Not live scope. Not textbooks. But you know, you're go this, and this is me, this is what I'm doing. Am I a genius? No, not really. Could be, but I doubt it. I'm going down the lake, right? The boat ramp, I'm up the river. The boat ramp is probably a mile up the water. And you know, I have my mindset, you know, to go fish docks, 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 skip docks. But I didn't. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fish these banks, main channel banks. Fish the banks, came in, had that that old belly just gobble it up smoked it just thrashed that swim bait and these fish are eating these are eating the swim bait today with a vengeance like they're trying to destroy it they're not following it they are coming up and blasting on it what's today's date it's funny it's uh april 22nd and the water temp is 64 degrees Yesterday, it was a little chillier. Day before that, it was snowing, okay? So, I don't know, like swim bait logic. Like, I'm not a big swim bait guy. I think I like it. <laughs> I like it. And uh, I'll go back with Skeet. He's got some nice swim baits. So, I'm gonna have to go through his swim bait box and see what I can, uh, see what I can haggle off of him. But yeah, there's now there's a little breeze. But it ain't a breeze to where it's affecting the water. So what's your, what, what do you, what do you think? Swim baits has to have wind, like clear water. Like what's the rules? Somebody tell me the rules, comments down below. I got about another 30 minutes of fish and I gotta go back. I gotta go back, it's Friday, gotta take the wife out, you know? Well, yeah. This is what happens when you forget your SD card and your big camera. This is what happens. That, that is what happens. Of course, 
my little Sony a7 I forgot my SD card then you catch something like that a fat pig came up and smoked it out of this tree I'm just fishing up it's almost like a bluff bank mug came up and absolutely smoked like Cheech and Chong smoked it let's put her back good girl you absolutely smoked it baby smoked it yes you did yes you did. always happens always happens mm. i mean dude i tell you what i'll never ever in my life not check one of my cameras to see if it has an sd card in it you can bet your bottom dollar on that get out of there sucker dang it Mmm. Mmm. Big old sow belly. It's, it's a little fish, but it's got a big old belly. Get back in there. And like I said, I'm in my garage right now. And uh, since I started with my cell phone, I'm going to finish with my cell phone. I'm not going to swap over to bigger cameras, but this is what I was throwing today was a... This is the 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 um this is the Denali medium heavy 883. So this is the 74 worm and jig rod and it's I think it's a perfect setup for your 6 inch mag drafts or you know any 6 inch swim bait not too much weight but not too light. Uh paired up with a Lose BB1 Pro reel. This is a 73 to 1 and I always mess that up. What is that? It's a seven one to one lose reel. And this is all I was throwing. 17 pound Sunline Shooter, chunk and wine, baby. Chunk and wine. And I also have, this was like, this was like my backup go-to, the big old eight inch flopper roof. See how that thing just flops around like that? Look at it flopping. And this is on my big Magnum swim bait rod from Denali. It's the 455. <laughs> Let me make sure I got that right. How do you, is that right? Oh, it's upside down. Yeah, it's the 945. So this is the Gigantor swim bait rod that I use when throwing the big eight inch mag draft or any big swim baits. And then I added something else to my arsenal, the Glida. This is the Mega Bass um, Eye Strike, I think, or Eye Glide, Eye Slide. Yeah, that's the uh, Mega Bass Eye Slide, but it's a glide bait. Haven't really fished with it much. Like I said, I'm new to swim bait fishing, so I will be doing some more videos on swim baits just because I'm kind of digging them. I enjoy throwing them.